Hello everyone, welcome back to another hammer tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a button uh, that toggles the sound or anything really. So you press the button, sound plays, press it again, sound stops. Um, and I'm making this a tutorial video because there's a little bit of strangeness with it, some nitpicks and stuff. So we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to get a dev texture. Um, just going to build like a quick little thing for the button and uh, I'm gonna make the button a different texture so it's recognizable okay there we go rather large button so what we want to do is we want to make this a funk funk button obviously so you have your funk button and you want while you're here you want to make sure it's set to toggle and I I like mine that don't move but if you want to put fancy animations and whatnot on yours uh, you can go right ahead and we're gonna get ourselves a sound um, this is using ambient generic um, not very familiar with the other sounds, um, but, so yeah, we, and you want to give it a name, so I'm going to give it sound one, apply, give it a sound, um, there we go, give it a sound, we're going to look at some music, some Half-Life 1 music, sounds good to me. You're gonna apply, and um, this is very important. This had me stuck for a while. You want to have it n so it's looped. So you want to go over here and untick the um, is not looped flag. For some reason, this does not work if your sound is not looped. Um, I don't know why, but I'm not an expert. Um, so now we have our sound and our button. So we go into our button. We do. We add an output and um. And then this is the part that had me confused. So you do on in um, instead of on pressed saw sound one and then um, play sound. All right. So you do that and then you make another one that says on out sound one stop stop sound. And then that's uh, that should be all good. Yeah, make sure your button's set to toggle, sound set to uh, set to loop, and then move my guy a little back here, it's a little close. And then uh, I'm just gonna do a quick compile. I'm in Gary's mod hammer, but this should work in any hammer that has an interact. And if it doesn't, then you know you set the button to be activated when you when it takes damage. But yeah, so we're gonna go right in. All right, so here we are in my beautiful map. Um, button you press it we it works you press it again sound stops press it sound plays so yeah that's basically the toggle of sound um all right so now we're gonna make a working radio so i'm gonna take this um my grid got small i don't know how that happened i'm gonna take this this thing over here this block gonna you know make a little table Gonna get a um, gonna get a prop dynamic override, and the reason why we're getting a prop dynamic override is because the radio, at least in Gary's mod, is a a physics prop. Um, in other versions of Hammer, the radio might not, and the how you know that is you go over this info tab. And it'll say physics, dynamic, static. So it is a physics prop exclusively. So we, uh, Hammer is a special entity that makes it so it still won't move, even though it's a physics prop. Um, so we have ourselves a nice radio here um, facing the wrong way. And now we grab our no draw. And no draw basically means the button will be invisible. So we put a no draw around it. Um, we do a 
a funk button like before and basically you repeat the same steps you make sure it's set to toggle output on in um, actually I forgot that the sound entity so we're just gonna copy this one move it over and name it something else I'm gonna name it sound two um, and then we go back to our button on in sound two play sound on out sound to stop sound and make sure this is set to toggle again make sure the sound is set to loop because for some reason it doesn't work if the sound doesn't loop and uh, yeah now we should have a working radio all right so we are in game um, go up yeah it's a little finicky I think some of the radio model is poking through the button here so you kind of have to oh I think I forgot to change its movement so yeah remember make it so the button doesn't move so that the invisible buttons moving right now but you you get the gist it'll it'll work if you set it so the button doesn't move um, but yeah, that's the tutorial. Um, special thanks to special thanks to Shark Petro on um, the Hammer subreddit who helped me out with this um, because I did not know how to do this. I didn't know about these out on in on out inputs and um, learning Hammer is a collective effort. So thank you, Shark Petro, and thank you to the Hammer subreddit. Uh, yeah, that's the end of the tutorial.